Relieving the hungry and the marooned is our theme, and contrasted methods our picture. Aerial cableways, normally used for carrying tourists over the valleys and up the mountains, perform a very different function in the Bavarian Alps when winter spreads its white mantle of snow. Mountain deer, which subsist on the pasture land, would starve, but for the food that is dropped from the cableway. The overhead granary runs for miles, dropping bales of food at intervals. Higher and higher on its errand of mercy, until the summit is reached and the last bale is released on its thousand foot drop. On the great pastures of Idaho, an airplane is used to take hay while the sun doesn't shine to the deer herds who would otherwise have a very thin time when Jack Frost is about. A glimpse of the vast expanse of wild snow-covered country will give some idea of the plight of the animals if man did not provide what must seem to them literally manna from heaven. And what of the lonely lighthouse keeper to whom reliefs and renewed touch with other human beings comes only once every two months and sometimes longer. Out in the North Sea, 50 miles from Bremerhaven, is the Red Sand Lighthouse. There, the crew of three are on duty for eight weeks before they are relieved. With a heavy sea running, even the relief man will be relieved when he's safe and sound in the lighthouse, though he doesn't seem to be worrying very much now. Now let's visit some other lonely lifers on the Nantucket Lightship, 28 miles south of Cape Cod. A tender goes 110 miles to sea to bring reading matter, mail and supplies to the crew of the lightship. But these can only be transferred when the weather is favorable. In rough seas, it's impossible to make contact and the crew are cut off from the outside world for days. Fog is a persistent enemy too. Another lightship was sunk at this very spot. <laughs> 